course, we've got landmarks like that all over Tampa Bay. They'll be staying where they are. But, you know, with so many interesting places to explore, it can be easy maybe to hiss, miss some hidden gems, even when we live here, right? Author Joshua Ginsburg has got you covered with his new guidebook, Secret Tampa Bay. Hmm. Thank you for waking up early with us. Good morning to you. Well, thank you so much for having me today. Can I call you Josh? Uh, by all means. <laughs> so the other half of the title of the book is A Guide to the Weird, Wonderful, and Obscure. So, I mean, this is more than just where to find the best Cuban sandwich in town. Like, been there, done that. Right. My hope is that this is really uh, a bit deeper dive into the history, into some stories that maybe only the locals know, and to hopefully a lot of things that might even surprise locals who've lived here their whole life. And so why did you want to go out and start exploring these and then make a book about it? Well, you know, this kind of evolved from a, sort of a personal passion project. Before moving here, my wife and I uh, decided when we were leaving Chicago that our means of saying farewell to the city was going to be to try to experience as many things you could only do in that one location as mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. And then when we, we moved here, we realized that was not only a great way to say goodbye to a place, but uh, a really fun and interesting way to get to know a new place as well. Yeah, and, and it's so easy, I think, when you live in a town like that, too, that people go to visit all the time, you can kind of overlook some of the, the, some of the best parts. So what, what, give us like the, some of the best things that you found, that you discovered. Sure, and there's, there's a bunch. Um, I'll focus on some of the outdoor things because I know we are still currently in a pandemic here. So, um, you know, again, having come from Chicago, if there is one thing that that city gave me, it is an appreciation for architecture. And uh, growing up, uh, I was always a fan of Frank Lloyd Wright buildings. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out um, that Florida Southern College, what, what Frank Lloyd Wright called his Child of the Sun campus, is the largest single site of uh, Frank Lloyd Wright buildings anywhere on Earth. Uh, you have something like 17 or 18 different structures, all of which he built. So it's an entire Frank Lloyd Wright campus. And you can walk around, you can bring your pets. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a place where you should be able to social distance and still kind of enjoy uh, something that is really, truly uh, wondrous. And we're seeing some of the pictures here on the screen now, Josh. Um, your book also mentions, and I think uh, with you now, your dog Tinkerbell, who goes on adventures <laughs> with you. Uh, we've got a lot of dog people here in town. I think our area was voted like top five in the country for dog people. So best place that we could go take our dog today. Uh, well, that would be one. Uh, Tinkerbell had a lot of fun in, at Dinosaur World. So if you've <laughs> okay. ever driven down um, I-4 toward Orlando and you've seen some very large dinosaurs by the side of the road, uh, that is a place called Dinosaur World, which was the uh, brainchild of uh, a Swedish gentleman named Krister uh, Svensson. And, uh, you know, it is a very, very family-friendly, very pet-friendly place. Um, so that's that's an idea for folks. Okay. Uh, I didn't know it was pet friendly. There you go. I just learned something. All right. Well, hey, if uh, you want to learn more about the book and you want to meet Joshua, well, you can do it today from a safe social distance and get a copy of your book signed. You'll find him at a South Tampa Trading Company from 4 to 7 tonight. Joshua Ginsburg, author of Secret Tampa Bay. Thank you so much for waking up early with us. Thank you to Tinkerbell as well.